Hey, it's Dr. Cody Rall with Tech for Psych. I'm having a very Silicon Valley day today. Rented a Tesla Model S, drove down, checked out Stanford, Google. I'd seen all these places before, but it's always inspiring to come down to this area and really get inspired by these giant tech companies. Uh, I wanted to make this intro to this video in which I interview the head of Google Health, Dr. David Feinberg, who's heading up these various um, ventures that Google has created and really trying to bring them together to make big strides in the healthcare industry. It's really what we're seeing right now is these big tech companies coming into the healthcare field. There's just so much potential and these tech companies have so much depth, not only in their financial resources, but also their data rich resources. There's so much data in their search queries and other tech that they can really make great strides in the healthcare industry. One of the things that Google is working on right now is artificial intelligence. And you know, as I spoke about on this channel quite a bit, AI is and machine learning are gonna be instrumental in understanding the very complex biometric data that comes from our bodies. So making the sensors that can pick up that data, uh, people are, you know, if you think about everything from Google Watch to these EEG devices, we're measuring things like blood pressure, heart rate. There's new devices that are even coming out for measuring blood glucose levels in the form of contact lenses. This is, uh, you know, a couple of examples in the litany of different devices that are coming out right now. So if you listen to Dr. Feinberg talk, the first thing that he really stresses is that these big companies want to uh, engage and gain the public's trust because there's been problems with uh, individual data and misuse of that data lately. So it's really important for them to gain uh, the consumer's trust that they've got our interests in mind when they're using our data to improve our lives and not gonna misuse that data. The other thing that these companies are really excited about is bringing medicine to the people. No longer will we have to go into clinics to get our healthcare. Uh, we're going to get biometric data in the form of wearables and our uh, physicians will be able to track this data from afar and give us medical recommendations right there at home. Uh, it's been talked about the hospitals and clinics are gonna be as outdated as uh, renting a movie from Blockbuster in the coming years. So there's that to look out for. And I'm really excited for biometric wearables data informing us on things like psychology, self-improvement, and brain enhancement. That's what I'm really excited about. The cool thing is Dr. Feinberg and I actually went to the same medical school, which is actually uh, kind of a crazy coincidence, and he kind of came up through the ranks through psychiatry and now is the head of Google Health. So that's really cool to me. And as you'll see in this interview, he said that we can no longer keep separating the mind from the body. This is a comprehensive care and looking at a person as an entire person and um, mind and body really being the same when it comes to biometric data and a person's overall health. So I hope you enjoy this interview with Dr. Feinberg. Stick around. Dr. Feinberg, thanks so much for being here. Oh, my pleasure. The Psychiatry Innovation Lab, you know, we've been doing this for a couple years now and it's just such an honor to have someone from, you know, with your background and working with Google and your expertise on business in the mental health and just health in general space, it's awesome. Well, it's an honor to be here and I'm learning a lot today. There's some pretty innovative stuff going on. Yeah, what is your take on the mental health space and how these entrepreneurs are trying to attack that? Well, one thing that keeps going in the back of my head as I'm listening to these different presentations today is that I don't think, we, I think we're doing a disservice by carving mental health out all the time. We need to do everything we can that integrates mental health back into health, and then these innovative solutions should be healthcare in general. If you really want to fix healthcare, you have to fix mental health, but it should be in the context of real people's lives. Schizophrenia is have heart disease, and, and people with heart disease get depression. I mean, to separate it, it just always feels to me non-human. And to me, to hear that you know, you're know you heading up Google's health effort is so cool because you are, are a psychiatrist by training, correct? Well, I would say more than anything, I'm a healer. Yeah, and, and, and I, I hope that at Google, with an incredible group of people and amazing resources and technology, we can make people's lives better so that everybody can live more life every day. And you know, uh, I think as a technology company, we've really focused on everybody. And we want to be helpful when you need to get directions to the pharmacy, to lose 10 pounds, to you got a really bad um, lung cancer, and can our tools help screen it? Can we give tools to caregivers to make the pain of the EHRs go away? So we want to help you every day, and we want to help every day. Amazing. Uh, 
I think I asked you before, what are yeah. the three top most exciting projects that you guys have going on that, that really get you up in the morning and excited to work in well, that field? The number one thing is I want to make sure we continue to earn and don't screw up user trust, right? We, we have to give you value before you give us anything. And I just think that Google and other tech companies um, really need a reset there. So my job, I think, is to make sure that we're just taking care of you and you get what you're giving us in return. Then we really have a, a, a strong approach. Obviously, we have a lot of people that do Google searches every day. About 7% of our Google searches are in the health space. So literally hundreds of millions of searches a day or more that are looking at health. Uh, so that's one area. Can we make search more meaningful? Can we get you to go to your doctor with three important questions instead of the entire internet? You know, if you kind of think about that. And then on the caregiver side, so much care is provided by moms at home uh, as well as professional caregivers. What kind of tools can we give to those people to make it easier for them, to make it um, so they make less mistakes and actually so they can spend more time looking in the person's eyes instead of looking into a computer. And then ultimately, can we pull it all together to really kind of um, tell you what's going to happen next in your life and give you the tools to prevent it if it's something bad. So, you know, nudge you in the right direction, of course, with your permission, the key transparency, you know, culturally sensitive, uh, and, and have a very world view of it. But uh, Google's done those kinds of things before. Google has about eight companies that have a billion or more active users a day. We want to do the same in the health space. Amazing. Well, I really appreciate you being here and sharing that with us. Yeah, and, uh, my pleasure. Yeah. We're done. Pleasure. <laughs>